Hello and welcome back to Fausty Gaming. I'm Fausty and we are playing the Fidelio Incident. And when we last left off, we discovered that a code written in a notebook in 1985 was able to open this lock in modern day times. So let's see what's down in here. Besides freezing cold water. This seems safe. Oh. Yeah. Freeze. Hold on, bud. This pipe's warm, maybe? No? There's a way up. Get out of here. Still alive. Barely. Ooh. Steam vent. There you go, buddy. I'm sure that'll dry you right off. There's the birds that cause this damn problem anyway. Yeah, bastards! I mean, I, I could have looked where I was going while I was flying, but that's not the point. It's the bird's fault, not mine. You guys got my back on this, right? Go okay, thanks. Get warm. I'm trying, dude. Got to get warm. A fire or a light? I think it's a well, this light. Valve, maybe. Aha! That's good. Yeah, it oh, is. Thank God. Yeah. Okay. What's over here? Whoa! I can actually go out there. Didn't really expect that. Well, let's warm up and head to that next valve. I guess. We don't want to miss any of those pages. I don't know if the game will let you complete without getting them all, but I, I really wouldn't want to because I'd like to see all the story. Is there a valve? There's a building. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Freezing to death. Oh. This is our first death. No. No, it's, oh God. Okay, so I guess that way is just certain death. I mean, I kind of want to try it again just to see if I go further if it helps, but let's not do that right now. I'm just going to go this way and hide my shame. We're getting closer to the plane crash at least. Or the other half of the plane crash. Ah. I don't know what's wrong with that man. Stanley came into Rory's pub tonight, sweaty and out of breath. His eye was swollen, his lip was bleeding, and he looked as proud as a peacock. He and one of his no-good maids went messing into East Belfast to stir up trouble. Stanley had the brilliant idea to spray the story plow over a unionist mural, but they got nice. caught by some locals and they got into a scrap. I bet they did. Rory thought that was a gas and bought Stanley a pint. I told Stanley he was an idiot. What if he'd been caught by the guard? Or the UVF, they'd have bloody killed him. But he was just too proud of himself to listen. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, is it getting dark? That's no good. Okay, so I can't go up this way. I go this way? Where's my flashlight, man? <laughs> so, do I have to go out into the freezing death area now? This did not go well for me last time. I guess this time just don't stop. Here goes. Hey, I don't see a valve anywhere on that. No. I see a fire though. Oh, we can make it to the fire all right, that's fine. Yeah, see? Okay. I want to go see what's down there. I can see smoke. But we learned earlier that smoke doesn't always equal warmth. No pages anywhere? Alright. Ooh, what's this one do? 
Oh, Is nice. This another bunker? How many are there? Okay, so now we've got a bunker to chill at. It's warm. The fire over here. Maybe find another uh, age. Yeah, it looks like it. Stanley can still surprise me. Even after all this time. We drove out for a picnic at our tree by the ocean. But when nice. we got there, Stanley pulled a guitar case out of the boot. I had no idea he played guitar. All afternoon we laid together. In the grass, under the tree, while Stanley strummed and plucked away. It was grand. Aww. Then he told me to close my eyes. I told him he better not have any funny ideas. But he said he tried learning a new song just for me. After a few bars, it started to sound familiar. But I couldn't stop myself from kissing him before he could finish the song. I'll let him finish it for me someday. I'm really enjoying these, uh, these diary entries. Some really good storytelling in this. I mean, just once again, just the graphics are amazing. I'm not cutting edge or anything, just just pretty. Alright, well, speaking of pretty, let's go get pretty cold and explore a little bit. I want to know what's going on with that smoke down there. Now, I probably shouldn't even go this way. This is probably a mistake, but that's fine. Okay, so we turned on that valve up there and it gave us steam down here. Sweet, that's going to be really helpful. Nope, not going to kill me this time. Haha. <laughs> Okay, so I'm glad I didn't come down here first, because there's no valve. Whew. I'm not even sure which way I'm supposed to be going right now, but... The smoke just has me curious. Yeah, I thought so. Bam. My face hurts from trying to smile all night. I can't blame Stanley. There's no way he could have known. He's not that cruel. He knew I was named after Beethoven's opera and just assumed that I'd be a fan. But it was my father who loved the opera. He'd blast Aww. those records into the night and stagger about with a half-empty bottle waving it in time with the music. It was terrifying. But I love Stanley. So I gripped his hand and smiled through the entire performance. Oh damn. So I guess he took her to the symphony. You must all be connected. That's rough. <clears throat> kind of feel like I need to go back and check out that bunker. I feel like it's probably important. We didn't even bother to go in it. The last two bunkers we saw we couldn't go into, so... Pretty anxious to see what's in there. I don't expect anything much. Maybe some, some warmth, some light. Maybe a working radio would be nice. We could, you know, all the women we love, tell her we're still alive and looking for her. Gathering up her diary and reading it, because, you know, why not? Invasion of privacy is fine in life or death situations. Uh, so this way is iced up. To get warm. Got to get warm. I thought I was warm. I mean, I'm standing in this. The bug? Okay. It's just a shortcut. It literally went nowhere. <clears throat> that's that's great. Although if you took that, you would have missed one of the pages up top. Not sure what happened there. Game locked up for a second. Alright, moving on. 
I like that though, because that, that reinforces the idea that you really need to actually explore your environment and not just take the first uh, path that's for presented to you. you know, a lot of games make it just, especially walking simulators, make it too easy to just breeze right through the game and not really look around. Stanley, are you there? Oh, it's so cold. My head's so shivering. My leg, it's going numb. <laughs> At least it doesn't hurt anymore. Am I falling asleep? Oh, I can hear voices. Oh. oh. I don't remember what time it is. <clears throat> I think it'll be dark soon. But I don't think I'll make it through the night. Oh. Oh, Stanley, you've got to stay warm. We're hurrying. Oh, God. Hypothermia must be setting in. Which one do we go to first? I guess this one. I mean, she said she heard voices in the night. I'm guessing that it's not going to be hypothermia making her hear things. I'm guessing there's actually somebody here. I mean, there's infrastructure here, these pipes, bunkers. Obviously, humans have been here before. And this is going towards the wreck. Oh, shit. Hail. Oh, good God. I go out in it. Nope. All right, so I guess we need to go the other way. All right. What do we have here? <clears throat> Another page. Yes. Molly and I snuck out to a party tonight. It was in full swing by the time we got there, meaning all the boys were bollocksed. Well, not all. We weren't there long when this beautiful lad hands me a beer and said his name was Colin. Uh -oh. He was tall, with bright green eyes, and he wore neon-coloured runners. I asked him if it was his party. He shook his head and said that knew it was my party. Then he turned and waved his hand around like he was the great fucking Gatsby. <laughs> and the first thing we saw was Stanley Whitaker throwing up in the kitchen sink. I laughed and said he could have his party back. Oh, we blathered for a while and we were really getting on when Stanley Whitaker stumbled over and asked Colin if he ever wore those shoes outside. And before I could tell him to fuck off, Stanley asked Colin if he knew I was the daughter of Michael O'Shea. I oh, felt shit. my legs go numb. Colin couldn't get away from me fast enough. Oh, Stanley, you dick. Oh. So that's where that first uh, diary page came in, where she threw the drink in his face and said not to mention her father. So, it makes sense. Alright, so I guess there's a little bit of strategy involved here, because that one over there had to turn it off to get that one, the, that one to turn back on. From here, we have to choose which path we want. Which will be this one, because there's hail there. But not there. Freak meteorological occurrences. These things happen. These runs are getting longer and longer. Getting it close, people. Oh piece of metal try and make it to it not seeing anything warm over here this just guessing thing. Christ I hope it's big enough to protect me got a shield to protect me from the uh, the hail that's that's cool unique Go full 300 in a minute. They'll be fighting in the shade. I think I can make it. And I'm, I'm a little ways from it, but no further than back the other way. 
Come on, Stanley, you got this. Oh, uh, yeah. Cutting it close. All right. The door. Working. It's working. I see that. Kiss my ass, fucking island. Yeah. Fuck you, island. Not much really to see here. The black smoke. Nearly there. Almost there. We're gonna find her? Did we miss any pages? Looks like we found her rather quickly. Oh, this is cool. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh Christ, what the Oh fuck! Help! Help me! Well, there we go. I shouldn't have said it. This is too easy. Too fast. Serves me right. What the hell is this? Flashback. Hmm, looks like a prison. Okay. Oh. Well, hi. How are you? He was rude. He didn't say anything back, so... Nightmares return. Achievement pop-up over here. No. No. No! No. I was right there. Yeah. What do you want from me? Tell me what you want from me. Well... I mean, at least you landed by a fire. Stand. The sooner you find Leonor, the sooner you can get her off this fucking island. Just find her. Okay. Ryan, man. Okay, so I'm still freezing. Good. Not seeing anything over this way. Fog is pretty nasty. What's down through here? I don't even know where I am. I can't locate the smoke or anything. Got this in fire. At our door? Get my door back. I will not be a prisoner's wife. Oh. I will not become like those other empty wives. Like my mother. Yeah. I will not be looked after or taken care of. Isolated. And they went to jail. There is no light without him. He is my heart. And I cannot live without my heart. I'll do whatever it takes to get him out. Oh. I will not be a prisoner's wife. Okay. Tone of that changed from the beginning to the end. I'm wondering if she busted him out of prison. That's why they're on the lam. Does anyone say on the lamb anymore? Am I just old? Is that what this is? Look around a little bit here. No, nothing. Warm up, buddy, you're good. You have fire in the distance. Oh, there's another one. I'm lost. Leonor. Please call. Let me hear your voice. I'm trying to figure out which way to go here. Another bunker? Ah, uh, of course. Missing the fucking handle. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm up here? No? Alright. I'm guessing that other fire in the distance is where we're going to need to go. Or down here. Okay. Some busted? Yeah. What is this? Ah, it's name. I'm walking among here. 
Ugh. All dead. Everywhere. Oh. So many funerals today. Uh oh. I was with Stanley at his father's funeral. There was quite a crowd of people. I told Stanley his father would be proud of the turnout. But he said Paddy would just want to make a speech. <laughs> the police were watching the crowd, but they didn't bother anyone. They were hidden, but I spotted them straight away. I had to help Stanley write the eulogy for Paddy. But when it came time to read it, he couldn't speak. He gripped the sides of the lectern so hard, I feared it would splinter in his hands. Finally, Stanley said Paddy was the speech maker. But he wasn't enough like his father to do him justice. He just folded up the speech and left in silence. I'm guessing Stanley's father was, you know, he was a big shot, obviously, and Stanley really didn't like that. But what are these things I'm walking amongst here? Ah! Ah! Find another way. Good jellyfish. Bastards. I wonder why I keep these damn journals. There are so many things ah. I wish I could forget. Big jump in time. Today at the school site, my senses were filled with the buzzing of insects and the smell of the jungle. But then, all at once, I thought I was back in Belfast. The air rocked with a heavy thud of a bomb exploding. Yeah. Stanley took off in a dead run towards the sound. A cow had set off an old landmine. And there was a man at the edge of the field shouting for everyone to stay back. But Stanley, he charged past him, splashing into the mud. I wanted to stop him. My voice froze in my throat when I saw Stanley lift the tiny body out of the grass. The boy's name was Udom. He had been walking with the cow. Udom's father collapsed. Stanley gently passed the boy to him. Udom's oh father kept apologizing over and over for not protecting him from the evils brought to this village. Oh. Damn. There's nothing else to say there. That's just, that's just damn. When I, uh, you know, kind of figured this game was going to be, you know, set with the backstory of the Troubles. I didn't expect it to be this dark. I wondered if it would go there. Alright, so I'm guessing this fire that we skipped back here is probably going to be the source of that handle. And walking out into... Area without being able to see it all. That's, that's scary. I don't know what's going on with Stanley. I'm afraid he's gone mad. Tonight I was waiting for him at Rory's pub. Rory was complaining about his fucking hand again. When Stanley finally showed up, he looked white as a ghost. He grabbed my elbow and said we had to go. Well, you done something. Been a while, so I was in no mood to be handled. I told him to sit down while I finished my pint. Yeah. But he snatched it from my hand and smashed it on the floor. Oh, Rory cool, started shouting bloody murder, and that's when Stanley went for him. He threw himself at Rory, clutching for his throat. Rory was so shocked he slipped and fell to the floor. It took all my strength to pull Stanley off and drag him toward the front door. Wow. Rory stayed behind the bar, cursing all the Whitakers. Okay, something bad happened right around then, obviously. We'll get warmed up and we'll head up that hill. These folks have lived a rough life in a rough area in a rough time. What? We can't go this way? What the hell's my handle? If I'm even looking for a handle, I mean, there's two bunkers we had no way to get into, so. Maybe this is just another one of those. I don't see any fires we missed. This way? Oh. I didn't defrost that time. 
Ah, we can go up this way. Do right here. I might have just killed us. Oh shit. A lot of wreckage over here. Maybe this is where the, uh, the handle is. Didn't see it earlier and I looked around. <clears throat> No? Alright. Got a general idea of my bearings here so we don't get too lost. So we came in. Hmm. What's our next step here? I'm riding an invisible wall. Go any further this way. Well, I guess we'll go back to the bunker and see if there's something we're missing there. <laughs> I might have looked right over it. All of you screaming at me. Want me to look at it? You have to be louder than that. I can't hear you. Warm, buddy. I want you to freeze again. Sorry about that, by the way. I guess that would defrost that the tunnel if I turn that on. I go up here. Did I try to go up here before? Yeah, no dice. To be over here. It would make sense for it to be over here. Right. Ah, there it is. Take that. And I walked by that twice. <laughs> Alright, let's open up this bunker, buddy. You got this. That's a, uh, a good place to stop this one. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'll continue this very soon. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.